In a nutshell, why does cable TV look already? It used to look super progressive, and now it looks a little dated in terms of what's on the screen compared to an Apple product. And so we don't sit there and say, gosh, we like that. We want to innovate. And we'd like people to think of us, if I had to go back to that very first question, say, well, the simple answer is we're a technological company. So we have, because we have, you know, a thousand software engineers at Comcast. So why haven't the products come out the door faster? Answer, the cable box. Why do we need a cable box? Cable box we need because the number of things you want to see are more than the little tuner in your TV can give you. So we have to layer on a box to do the work for you. Every time we layered on a box, five minutes later, that box was obsolete, as with any box. There's always a better box. Mm -hmm. So we have been trying to work our thousand software things to make the old box do more tricks. And then we bring out a new box, and then we got a new version, and we got to go decide, are we going to go to the old version or go just to the new version, and how many customers are affected? And so a confluence of technological change has allowed us to see, in my opinion, light at the end of the tunnel, which is to get out of the cable box and get the brains into the cloud. All the, all the brains, all the search, all the navigation, all the guide, all the picture art, all of that is going to be rendered in the cloud. And it'll be the same everywhere, whatever box you have, anywhere in the country, if you're attached to the cloud through our cable box or through your smart TV or through your Xbox or through your phone, it's all going to happen up here in the cloud. Not cloud storage, but cloud computing. And that's not a new concept, but that's new to the cable business as a concept. And we called it Project Infinity and said it's going to do three things. We're going to somehow give you infinite choices, hence the name Infinity. We figured, by the way, Fios couldn't have infin beyond infinity at the time. So a lot of deep research went into that. We, want to, we saw personalization as what it was coming to as compared to the history of we're programming to you. And then it had to be on all devices. And the key to everything is if we wanted to change that yellow box to an orange box or change it some other way, we just go to the cloud, we type it in once, and then everybody all over the country is going to have a different experience a month later. And so that, today, it takes us 18 months to two years to put a new guide out. Um, Do you risk overwhelming consumers? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of stuff, right? So number one thing we need to now do is this is an engineering marvel and needs to be, I think, spot on comment. And so when I talk to our team about how do we make that work for everybody, you know, if I show it to my kids, they get it in two seconds at 20 years old. I show it to my mother, and she has no interest in that. And okay. so we'll have different flavors uh, of, of our experience. But I think now the goal is how do you make it easier to navigate and, and as intuitive as Apple or as easy to use as others. And these are new boxes, right? And, For I mean, now. You're not, right. And, but you're not getting rid of the set-top box, which is a bizarre thing. I mean, it's, it's a consumer device that's the least consumer-friendly thing in your home that no consumer knows how to use or ever uses, ever touches. Some guy has to come into your house and fix it or change it, or then you have to bring it down to a store to get rid of it and get a new one. I mean, it's, okay, but that's, it's the bane that, of everyone's existence, right? I mean, Okay, I that's because you live in Manhattan. Now, uh, <laughs> it's a certain company of a new Let me company. tell you, I didn't bring usually a prop that I like to bring, but if you hold up your BlackBerry, we have a box the size of a BlackBerry. We put 18 million, I think is our number, something like that. Um, 80 or 90 percent were self-installed. I think we've begun to change the notion that the box is, the, is the, what you described.